I'm gonna eat conch here. Yeah. Unless this is Sash, you're gonna actually you won't die. But I don't think he'd go for psychic. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> Sheer force. Also, 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 um, I'm gonna make my uh, I've created a Discord group. I'm gonna make it uh, public. I'm gonna have a Discord group for my Twitch subs and my Patreon subs. So you can join that private one. And that way you can personally interact with me. Um, and then I'm gonna have a public Discord group where you can ever interact with me as well. Um, but it's more so for my entire sub base. That way, if you guys want to trade mons, if you guys want to look for some Wi-Fi balance, I want that to be a hub for that. And if I'm looking for Wi-Fi balance, that's where I'm going to probably go to my Discord group. So, what's up, guys? It's Mr. Jambin, and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server. And we're going to be using Bolt Bolton. I keep calling it Bolton. I don't know why. Bolton. Um, I don't even know if that's what it's called. Uh, Usain, Usain is what we're going to call it today. Um, this team was actually built sort of by me, but more so by a subscriber of mine and a, um, a coaching client of mine. He wanted to focus on team building in a recent session, actually last night. I figured, you know, uh, screw it. Let's use the team that we built and throw it on to and then use it in today's live uh, because the, the session had ended right when we finished the team, so I've never tested it. We've never tested it. So I'm going to hop right into it and see how it fares. Um, the Bisharp didn't have a purpose. That was more of this, you know, we kind of had a, oh no. We had room for him to use something he wanted, and I remember in the initial version he wanted a Bisharp on there, so that's why that's on there. But um, as far as, you know, it being... The perfect mind for this slot that slot is more flexible uh, because I can see looking at it we could, we could struggle a lot with some strong fighting types not too many of them in the tier but uh, you know just something I thought about okay so we have Bolton <laughs> clicking that uh, that Thunder Fang or just crunch honestly Thunder Fang crunch is pretty nice pretty nice Conkelder is very dangerous uh, depending on that jealous and speed tier as well it can just blow in my opponent outright um, he has a guard of war which sucks um, but we do have Aegis Slash to counter that and Aegis Slash behind a sub is very annoying um, I'm curious as to what kind of Umbreon he is if he has heal bell then you know if his heal bell is for death then that could be annoying and not annoying at the same time because Bisharp 6 of him as well. So, uh, if we can lure that Umbreon to get um, a plus two with Iron Head by Bisharp, and then that opens up Aegis Slash quite a bit and opens up Bolt quite a bit. Um, so, now I'm looking at is, um, but I can tell he doesn't use his brain. That's good to know. Um, he just clicks a lead. Oh, I think he's gonna lead with Blank, which which will help. Uh, it'll help. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. So what I'm going for here is I'm switching. Thank God. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, this this guard uh, trace things happen for a reason. He's just gonna attack me. And I'm gonna do whatever his move is. Yeah. Um, mm, 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 mm. Just gonna flash cannon here. I know Umbreon's gonna come in right, but I want to see how much it's doing. And I'm max special attack. And if it did that little, that means he's max defense. Um, so I'm gonna go to Ghost of Darmanitan. I'm not sure why, because uh, I could have King Shield there. Again, not expecting too much thought. Gonna just stealth rock here. Ice Crash is gonna hurt. Oh, fucking shit, dude. That matters a lot. Stealth Rock changed the game a lot there. I think I swept him with Stealth Rock, so. Um, so we're gonna double out to his choice bandit. If he ice crashes again, so be it. Uh, uh, that, actually, no, we're gonna um, flash cannon again. Um, Cause I need, uh, I need a little more. I need a lot more health than that, actually. Um, but I don't think he'll be wary enough to know that, okay, I need to 
Yeah, I don't think he's gonna be cognizant enough to know that he needs to. Uh, he has yawn, which means he might not have heal bill. Mm, I don't think he'd be wary enough to know that he should not allow my Aegis Slash to heal back up. So, uh, I am going to actually. Mm, I want to Toxic here to prevent the drought. I'm going to Toxic here. Ah, that was. That was. I can't tell if that was just the greatest play of all time or. Because maybe he just expected me to Stealth Rock. Um, regardless, I know I can still win. Like it doesn't really matter. Um, it matters in the fact that I know he's gonna go Darmanitan here. In fact, no, no. Let's play the long term. Ugh, I, I can't stand when people get rewarded for stuff like that. If if I had my rocks up, this would be a very different game, man. Um, but we're gonna play the long term. Uh, this is supposed to actually be heavy duty boots, or, or not at least not leftovers. Um, yeah, I want this to be heavy duty. Mystical fire, okay. That's not good. We're gonna king shield here, because we're getting rocked right now because of all these things. He's gonna go for the mystical fire again. I think this might be choice, I can't tell yet. Uh, but it's going to be a rough game uh, because we do need again Conquest rocks up can just run through my opponent's See, I want to be very careful about what I use as he uses to go to Excadrill unless this is Sash he'll die now, I think he's just going to go for rocks or iron head I don't think he's going to earthquake so Bolt hopefully can get a kill here you see what I'm talking about like what uh, mm frustrating when these players get lucky man uh, <laughs> you think you were reading girl you're just jumping around man so now you're gonna go definitely for the that the, the darn being gone means a lot because now I can foul play freely <laughs> unlucky really bro you're gonna blame that on luck when you've been lucking me all game <laughs> you forgot your dorm darn flinch me so now that that drill potential of sash is broken um, right here um this is interesting right because i'm expecting him to rocks oh he doubles he goes to jealousy that's actually very good for us i said unlucky <laughs> so we'll go um yeah, we'll go seismitoad here i knew he's gonna willow his there so now we're gonna find out if he has hex uh this is where he'd use it if he does have it. Um, or he's gonna switch out. So we're gonna go to Bolt. Yeah. And now he can fire off a crunch. Um, he might go drill on the sack. Oh, he doesn't. Did he will always? Ah, that blows. That blows. So now Jellicent has to come in. I mean, not Jellicent, Umbreon. But if Umbreon comes in, I'm gonna go hard con kill him and just fire off a thunder punch. Actually, no, I'll just poison jab. So Conk is now freed up, especially if he chooses to go hard Gardevoir. If he wishes, then I'll go for, um, yeah. If he wishes, I'll go for Poison Jab. Because Poison Jab with Sheer Force knocks out everything on his team. Even Jellicent. Oh, wow, it did not knock the Jellicent out. But I'm faster for sure. If he's taking that little, I'm sh I should be faster. And I'll blow him away with Sheer Force Thunder Punch. Yeah, you're gone, kid. So... <laughs> I know it looked bad in the beginning, but in in Pokemon, I don't know how to describe, but I can tell very early when a, how a player is gonna play based on how he starts the game. Um, very very easily. I, like, why would you even go extra drill? You know. Um, so he, that was sporadically was predicting in the beginning made it very easy for me to determine. The fact that he won't see certain outcomes. And Bolt did his thing, man. Like, it did his thing. I'm going to um, try to sack it here. Uh, because we want... Um, obviously, at this point, Bisharp is just nice. Noosh. Aegis Slash comes in and hits that Flash. Um, just hits that Flash cannon, man. Dynamax is Max Flare. Okay. I didn't think about Dynamax there. I could have... Um, 
they've done something about that. Mm -hmm. I completely forgot about the Dynamax component. Mm -hmm. It's a little annoying. Um, it's a lot of annoying because I could have King Shielded there. In hindsight, if I I'm playing this like I'm not like Dynamax isn't. Let me put overcoat. These abilities, like you guys can tell, we just rushed it towards the end. Um, I'm pretty sure this thing is choiced. Uh, I completely um, forgot about the Dynamax component. And I am uncertain of whether some boosted Max Flare will knock out my Bisharp. Because of my really low spadef. Um, so what I'll do is just stall it out, um, yeah, and then just Dynamax back, yeah. So that's gonna be, of course, he crits. <laughs> They're trying to give him another turn of Dynamax. Um, but yeah, uh, Seismitoad no longer necessary as he Max flares again. Now we can go to Bisharp, and we Dynamax. Yeah, we Dynamax and Max Steel Spike. Guard being gone means. Um, Conk and Mandy should just win the game. Plus, Bish can't go down. Especially if he mystical fires. I still have my Defiant boost, right? Yeah. So he should go Dracopult. Now he just left. Um, if you want Dracopult, you just go for the Max Guard to see what he was going to do. Um, if he locked himself into anything other than. Because we, all we needed to do was just switch out. Dragon Ball can't keep switching in the conk. And Mandibuzz beats that and we just U-turn out. If he tries to wish, the Umbreon would remain low, meaning it can't come back in on Bisharp. It's already not defensive. I mean we're not on the highest part of the ladder. It's just it's just interesting that like most of our sets were wrong. Um But yeah, we're gonna we didn't play that early game well. We should have counted for the Dynamax versus Guard. Uh a couple things we definitely could have done better on our end. So in this one, Conkelder is incredibly, incredibly good. Uh, Dragapult is his main uh, switch in, as is Bisharp. So if we can get that, I was going to say we can get the darn choice lot, but we know he can just not max if he chooses and max flares. Um, but we're playing this live to have Bolton, 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 Bolty, whatever, man, Bolton, um, do the work. Um. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna offensively merc him. Yeah, offensively merc him, but Bish late game. It might be early game, depending on how he plays. Um, Age Slash goes a long way as well. Sub versus Coronite almost guarantees a kill. Um, Seismitoad, so let's do the left right as an analysis. Bolt button, bolt in, kills one, two, three, four members. Conk kills almost all of them except size in one hit and um, Dracopult. Uh, Aegis Slash picks up KOs, but that's not its purpose in this one. Manda Buzz. Focus is the drill somewhat, depending on you know, it could be rock slide drill, but Manda Buzz is just a hazard control at this point, though you don't have to worry about toxic. So that's probably not gonna be its main thing. I'm probably not gonna try to control hazards in this game. And Seismitol guards well against um, a good portion of his team. Um, so I'm actually the way I want to set this up, I expect the Darm lead, they always do. Actually, I think just looking at this team, I'd like protect. Um, but yeah, expected that. Um, I'm gonna focus more on getting up stealth rock. So the way I'm trying to do this, I'm going to. The middle is hard to tell what exactly is gonna happen because I just don't know enough about his team. I don't know if he's special dragon. I don't know. It's rocks. I don't know. I mean, not rocks dragon. I don't know if he's rocks tar dragon dance. He has a T tar and an extra and a seismitoad. You know, scarf darn most likely. Here comes a dragon Um and this is where protect would be very helpful because you know he could go for the thunderbolt and if it's choice makes thunderbolt then manda buzz but manda buzz core purpose in this one is to hazard control if i wasn't prioritizing hazards and um what's it called 
we go hard edges last year. We're forced to. It's likely scarf. Um, if he flare blitzes, it, so be it. I don't think I go down to one flare blitz. Uh, but at this point, I have I don't have much choice in the matter um, as the icicle crashes. So we're going to we're gonna do is so here. This is a <laughs> you know he could literally just choose to to unlock his choice item. Now if he chooses to do that, that would mean that. Um, because mm, I want to sub here. If he unlocks his choice item, that would mean that. Well, I don't die. I'll substitute. If he unlocks it, at the very least, I live. And uh, what's it called? At the very least, I live. Because Age Slash isn't necessary to win, as I mentioned. It's good if certain things happen. But if he uses the Dynamax here. I, at the very least, I live, and by the time he knocks out Aegis Slash, his Darm will be on choice again. Now I'll have to stare down an Ice Club Crash Darm, but the the way that plays out for me is the if that Dracopol is like a, just a spec set, so he Dynamax. You know what I'm talking about? He Max Quakes, and I live actually with with Substitute Health, so that's even better because now I get to blow his Darm away. So that even even if it doesn't die, it dies to rocks. Um, wow, that did nothing, man. But yeah, so now I get to King Shield here. Find out what it wants to lock itself into. Lock itself in the ice school crash. And now Bisharp. Again, if if certain things are met, Bisharp just destroys him right here. And this stuff like that again, you know. It's it's ridiculous, uh, which is why they're suspecting it. This is why they're suspecting it. So at this point, he has plus two for death. Uh, I think it'd be a bigger detriment to me if he. I don't think he'd go Dragapult hard for sure. He might go to Seismitoad. Drain Punch is my better play on the off chance he goes Seismitoad. Um, he goes to Corviknight, and Drain Punch did a ton to him. Let me see crashing now. Look for the glow. He's faster than me. He's faster, so I'm gonna go bolt. Um, he might roost, but I, yeah, he's faster. I'm not sure what his set is, but he's fast as shit. And we should be able to knock him out with crunch from here as he goes C tar. Solid play, solid play. Um, um, we're getting the conditions met right now. Again, we want to bait out that seismitoad to get crunched because. It's one of the few things I can take a hit from my bish heart. Um, and I guess he anticipated me to do that. Maybe he's aware of this. Uh, T-Tar generally can't touch um, Conk for a 2 a KO. Uh, let's mock here. I don't think he's in that switch. Yeah. So, this is great. <clears throat> because now Dragapult has to come in on rocks and sand. <clears throat> And we get to find out what kind of set he is. So we're gonna go hard Mandibuzz. Uh we have Conk and Bisharp in case the, the extra drill gets out of hand as he fire blasts. So he's special, which is good. Can't Dynamax, which is better. We get to U-turn out here. This is excellent. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent bit of information to find out as we are able to go to Sand is gonna wear off this turn. Unless he was smooth rock. We never saw an item. Um, so he very well could be smooth rock. I'm surprised he went to drill on Amanda Buzz. But you could that just explains to me that he doesn't really know what he's what's going on. Amanda Buzz is actually very good now. Darm because of his uh, Because of Darm's um, HP stat, it's actually still in range of rocks, so it doesn't matter as much. We just need to get Dragapult to to log itself into something or darn to lock itself into something that Bishar can sort his hands on. Um hmm. probably doesn't knock it out from there. So what we're gonna do is go to Seismitoad here, which I shouldn't get to a KO by anything. Um, we'll scald. What I'm trying to do is bait his seismitoad out, but he won't go to it. And this is where protect would be nice. Okay, so finally he goes to it. 
We can trade toxics here. If hopefully I hit nice. Uh, we're gonna hit one earth power here. Yep. Okay, that's a be sharp range. That's a be sharp range. Um, and now we're just gonna play around. Uh, yeah. Now we're just gonna play around at this point. So you turn out and he's gonna toxic or scald. We get to go back to seismic toad. Um, and obviously we want that position in because I should force Dracopult in. We don't want this gone because we don't want it to be able to T-Ball lock. I think Bisharp might just win with Sucker Punch outright. So yeah, on the out, that was his best play on the out chance I chose to double around again. Um, but this forces Dracopult in and if it Draco locks, yeah, I think Bisharp just wins <laughs> without even needing the boost at this point. And I have my Dynamax still in the back, so. If push comes to shove, so it goes darn, which is excellent for us. Um, again, we don't want to lose the electric resist. Um, man, I'm trying to keep bolty, but it's the best sack. Just, just game wise, it's just the best sack. Um, icicle crashes and. Air balloon drill. Mm. This is my opportunity to use swords dance. I'm just, you know, wondering if I'll need to. I don't think I would. Uh, unless he hard switches here. I don't know why he would though. He dies to rocks. I guess he could spin. Mm -hmm. Just trying to think of a way where there's no bullshit chance. Air balloon drill. Yeah, I don't want him. I'm gonna sword dance here because I feel like. Mm -hmm. So now he's definitely gonna stay in. Um, I don't want any chance of bullshit because he's gonna have sword dance as well. That's fine. I. I have a lot more to gain. I just need to keep about four of them, because um, I don't. Now I can switch whenever I want. Because he's on the back end. Because I can always just go to my Conkel there and mock punch him. So I didn't wasn't even any, any real threat there. But I told you Bisharp was gonna six all in the end. Uh, well, four all. Uh, I, I, right there, you know, I want, if I didn't Swords Dance and he switched to um, Excadrill, I had a lot more to lose. If he Icicle crashed. And then, if he if he icicle crashed um, and flinched me, I could always suck a punch him next turn. So Bisharp's still around. I don't need Bisharp to be a fool for any reason because it can't take hits from any of the mons anyway. Um, sucker punching Dragapult, it can't take a hit from Excadrill. So in 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 the all round grand scheme of things, that's the best play to avoid any kind of nonsense and to apply a lot of pressure on the opponent. So in this one, it's going to be our final game, and Bolt just keeps running into these Seismitoal Dracopults, man. Uh, people had enough of Dracovish, and we're going to ladder up, you know, 1500s now. We're going to ladder up, because I've only been playing while I'm recording, so I've never played a game outside of recording, um, which is the same thing. I just wanted to word it, word it differently, apparently. Uh, but let's do the left-right analysis. So Bolt... Claps this, claps this if I play rough, claps this. Nice crunch after rocks. Thunder. So, Seismitoad is the only impediment. Um, conk claps this, this, this. So I'm going to bait this in an American. This Dracopult is his main impediment. Um, it's Age of Slash serves a similar role to the last game where if it subs up, it's quite annoying. Um, yeah, very much so. Um, and I can lure that Seismitoad in to blow it down to where Bolt can smack. And Bisharp serves a very similar purpose. I just need to figure out what the Rotom is. Um, you know, lure out the Dynamax, all that good stuff. Because if I I could have the boost and then he just randomly Dynamaxes and tanks the Sucker Punch. So, 
We have Manda Buzz that guards well against Dracopult primarily. And Seismato that guards well against Rotom, T-Tar, and um, Rotom, T-Tar, Corley. So, um, game plan wise, I'm focusing, I'm leaning more to the Bisharp sweep again once I find out what the Dracopult set is. And once I find out what a Dynamax is. It's my only sweeper anyway. Um, hmm. I'm gonna eat Conk here. Yeah. Unless this is Sash, you're gonna actually you won't die. But I don't think he'd go for Psychic. Yeah, he dies. <laughs> Sheer Force. Uh, the reason I like Conk Elder there. So my game plan again. Corviknight. He went to this way too confidently. He's like, oh word, oh word. Um, he went to this way too confidently. Are they running offensive Corvin right now, or just he just isn't sure what to do? Well, it's not in my best interest to stay in and take a break, bird anyway, um, as he bulks up. Yeah. That means I could have stayed in there. He bulk up. I shot a ball to see what we're doing. A max special attack. We should be doing at least 45%. The little Corviknight is mad bulky. No pun intended. Um, but my boy Steve, 647 left. Um, I want to formulate that because that game plan wasn't as as clean. Uh, it was just said he could choose to bulk up at any. I mean, not bulk up. Dynamax at any point right here. So we're doing 46. Um, I'm gonna shot a ball again. Corviknight, the good thing about it, it doesn't have, because I, yeah, you got Dynamax is there. Won't knock me out. Um, but like stuff like that is what I'm referring to, you know, like. <laughs> so he has mirror armor. Okay. Um, so the King Shield here, we're gonna stall out. So he's not pressure. Max Airstream is not very effective. Um, is Dynamax is gonna wear off next turn? Um, hmm. <laughs> 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 Um, I'm just thinking about all the, the possibilities because we don't know if he's sub yet. So we're gonna try the King Shield again. We get it off, which is dope. Um, that's dope. So now the Corviknight has incentive to Brave Bird, which I'm gonna take full advantage of. <clears throat> take full advantage of the mirror and then mirror armor is even more annoying um, so if you brave bridge here okay excellent excellent that recoil plus bolt will allow us to thunder fang him here assuming we hit assuming we hit of course um, no reason to go for anything other than thunder fang oh right 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 he's faster <laughs> um so we're forced to because he's gonna just bulk up again hey brave birds okay um uh, this this is where you know stuff like this gets frustrating because I, for, I forgot he was faster I forgot how max airstream I didn't forget how max airstream worked but I just forgot that this that he had used it um, so we're gonna protect here because he's gonna brave bird again um, and we could dynamax and get the, the, the water move off because of his speed we kind of have to go for a skull burn here um, as he knocks us out with Brave Bird. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I should have counted for Dynamax. I didn't expect this to be so difficult to kill. Again, I forgot about the Max Airstream component. So now this thing is just super bulky, which is odd because I've used it so many times. Um, but I forgot the, the bolt turn was the biggest one. That turn I forgot that I forgot that he was faster than me. So I was like, well, I'll just go in and revenge kill him. 
Mandibles is foul play hurts, but it doesn't hurt enough. Um, and I still have to have something in the back to win. Um, uh, let's see how much it's doing. Fibray Burge he seems to be playing like shit. Um, like he shouldn't Brave Bird there. Should have roosted last turn. Um, so I'm gonna do his SD here and then Dynamax. Uh, Cause he. I, I didn't want to waste my bitch because I don't know how I'm gonna win after the fact. <clears throat> I don't know how I'm gonna win after the fact. Um, <clears throat> so we'll max darkness here. Uh, it might not be enough. <laughs> we brave birded though, so it might be enough with life work. It might be enough with life work. So we killed the Corver Knight, but now we probably lose to everything else. Uh, maybe not though, because of Conk's mm, such conk solid bulk. Uh, we're gonna max guard here to see what the Draco Bolt is gonna go for. We definitely want Bisharp Sucker Punch still. I just wanna see what the Draco Bolt is gonna go for. See, so Fire Blast locks, but I don't have my Size of Toad anymore. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna be his Size of Toad. Definitely want my Bisharp still alive. I might have two Life Orb hits. Those are huge. Um, and he's probably Spexed. Uh, there's no point in me wasting my bit sharp here. So Mandibuzz is going to come out. And it's going to have to put in a lot of work for our team right now. Mandibuzz is going to have to hold the team on his back. The issue, my core issue with that is the fact that we don't have a Thunderbolt switch in. Oh, he, he, he's not even choice. Maybe he's expert belt. Um, oh, he didn't even. He must be Sash. I don't think Sashi would have killed Mandibuzz. Or maybe he just didn't feel like he lost because he has Rotom. Which is a fair point. He didn't need to predict. So yeah. Um, Corviknight, because the team is so physical, Corviknight, once it boosted, became a real problem. Um, had I King Shield on the turn that he chose to Dynamax, even then it would have been a rough, a rough game. Um, I think we just had to have something special to to be it and my opponent really could have swept me Bisharp didn't if he played that game properly he wouldn't have I wouldn't have had a chance like he could have bulked up several times but he kept very birding um, he had the speed he had the bulk he could have just kept bulking up and roosting um, so that was that's something that Bisharp did his thing in this live uh, so it's like well you know, do you remove Bisharp? But I just put something on there to where something like that, you know, like um, like one of the Rotoms. Uh, that way, Corviknight can't smack, you know, or a Hazemon, you know, a Pex. Well, not Pex on this team, but something else, um, a Toxtricity. Something that's really strong, that's specially based, that can, uh, if, if um, Corviknight gets out of hand like that, it can. Um, it can take at least one hit and blow it back with his special move because Corviknight can't boost on the special side so I don't believe that's broken or anything I just didn't play it well enough um, and that's all we have as far as time so hope you guys enjoyed I did I learned a lot um, Bolt did its thing Bolt did its thing man um, obviously not the best Pokemon around uh, it kind of reminds me I was talking to the person I built the team when it kind of reminds me of like a Manectric I believe he said it reminded him of um, there was another electric type he mentioned uh, Luxray looks like a fast Luxray uh, it, is, it is fast stupid fast you know I actually didn't know it was this fast I thought it was 261 but it's dumb fast so really cool mod hopefully y'all enjoyed hit the like button down below if you made it this far type damn jam in the comment <laughs> don't do that i mean fuck it you can if you want to and i'll see you guys in the next one peace